Hey everyone, Wes here. If you're a keyboard shortcut junkie like I am, you'll probably find yourself running out of useful keyboard shortcuts pretty quickly. Some of the applications start to map to the same things and when you hit your sh keyboard shortcut, uh, sometimes it doesn't do exactly what you're looking for. One thing we can do is actually make use of the caps lock key on your keyboard. Uh, the caps lock key is obviously for making text caps, but we can remap it to something that's a lot more useful. So things you may want to remap it to is, uh, I'm a big user of Divi, uh, Divi is a window manager. So if I hit my caps lock key, it opens up my uh, window manager and I'm able to go ahead and just resize uh, my windows however I want. So that's what I've mapped my caps lock key to, but uh, you may also be a big user of Alfred. Uh, it's the, the window manager, or sorry, the, the application manager where you can launch your applications right from there. Uh, one, I have mine mapped to option space, but you may want to map it right to your caps lock key. So whenever you hit the caps lock key, it pops up in your Alfred. So what you use it for is totally up to you. Uh, I'm going to show you how you can set it up to remap it. So first thing we need to do is disable the caps lock key. So make sure it is in the off position so the little light is not on. Go to your system preferences and we want to click keyboard and in the bottom here it says modifier key. So go ahead and click modifier keys um, and you will see we got control, option, command. Caps lock key should be mapped. By default, it'll be mapped to caps lock. Change it to no action. And then if you have an external keyboard, you're using a laptop, uh, make sure that you also check uh, the other keyboard here and select no action. Click OK. What we've just done there is we've disabled the caps lock key. Now we actually need to go ahead and remap it. Uh, there's a great little utility called seal. Uh, it used to be called PC Keyboard Hack, if you've heard of it before. Uh, this is a tiny little utility. It's actually part of a larger application, I believe it's called like Remap Keyboard. It This is just for caps lock and some international keys. It works great for this utility. So go ahead and download it. Once you've downloaded it, you go ahead and open it. And you'll see that it has a listing of uh, a couple of your keys here as well as some of your uh, international keys. We just need this one right here. Make sure you have change caps lock checked and by default it's going to map it to the 51 key. So these are key codes. Uh, kind of an aside, if you go to keycode.info, it's a little website that I made, every key that you type, like if I type space it's 32, they each have a key code associated with, uh, with their number. So what we want to do is open up seal and find a key code that is not being used. So uh, you can't just map it to something like control or delete because you need your delete key, right? So we need to use it on a key that's not being used. So uh, some popular ones are forward delete, which is 117. Uh, unless you, most Mac keyboards don't have that key, so you could go ahead and use it. Or thanks to Kenan on Twitter, I asked what people are using. He said 80, so I figured out what 80 was, and it was the F19 key. So unless you have some insane long keyboard, you probably aren't going to be using your F19 key, which I think is even better than the forward delete key. So set it to 80, just double click this right here, type in 80 and then close that down. Uh, now whenever you hit your caps lock key it's going to send to the system that you are running the uh, F19 key. So now you need to go ahead and go into your uh, whatever application you're using and for me it's Divi so I'm going to go to the Divi preferences. Uh, most applications will have this, they'll have a little recorder for what key you want. So you just have to click your record, obviously you can do things like option space or whatever it is. Uh, but I'm going to map mine to the F19 key, so back to preferences here. Click to record, I'm going to hit the caps lock key and you see that F19 shows up. So that's good, close it. Now whenever I hit my, hit my caps lock key, it pops open 
uh, my window manager here and I'm able to go ahead and resize my window. So uh, go ahead and do that. It's a, a powerful little trick that you can do to increase your productivity without having to reach for the mouse every time. Uh, hope you enjoy it and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.